you doing? I'm Gina Falcone. I may only be a kid, but I ain't no bed wet and twerp. I take care of myself. Like this one time back in New York. Hey, Ma! Pops! Where is everybody? The rest of the family was in such a rush to get to Coney Island, they left me. Home alone. So it was up to me to protect our house and have a little fun. I was expecting a kid to set cute little traps. This is almost too easy. Easy? You know, when you say that, you really devalue what we do. Yeah, I don't like kitty movies. All that violence. It's so fake. When it comes to violence, I prefer what Petey would call realism. Don't bother begging for mercy. Oh, my poor baby. I'm so... What the hell? Crap. Busted. Gina, how many times I gotta tell you? Not in the house. You're gonna get us all pinched. Anyway, now that we live in the most boring town on the planet, I'm gonna make my own fun. Ma, I'm going out. Don't forget your mittens. Is anyone else concerned that she's... Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Hey, who threw out a thermometer? <gasps> it's a pregnancy tester. Cheech, look at this. What's the little minus sign mean? Oh, it's negative. Means a baby's coming. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. You want another snot in those brat running around? No. Pregnant equals negative. Holy crap, Cookie's pregnant? I can't be a father again. I barely survived the first three. You want my advice? Pretend to be happy about this. Then, when she goes to bed, you skip town like a fucking gypsy. <sighs> There's my beautiful wife. If you was barefoot, this picture would be perfect. Okay, what'd you do? Ooh, was that a kick I felt? No, it was last night's eggplant pump. What's wrong with you? You fall in the shower or something? No, I'm talking about our baby. <gasps> Jimmy, this test is negative. I was a little late and just, you know, wanted to be sure. But I ain't pregnant. Nobody's pregnant. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. This is the happiest day of my life. Next time, I'll pull out earlier so you don't gotta worry. <gasps> don't you move, young lady. That's not mine. It's for a friend. She had a little scare, but everything's fine. Oh, really? What's your friend's name? Sorry, so? Your father found this. If he knew it was yours, he'd slap a chastity belt on you and swallow the key. Lucky for you, I covered for you. Phew, dodge that bullet. Thanks, Ma. Not so fast, Teresa Maria Falcone. We're not done here. Not by a long shot. Will you relax? You should just be glad I'm not pregnant. Now we don't have to guess who the father is. Oh, think before you talk, Teresa. What are you doing? They're gonna need your measurements down at the nunnery. Hey, McCool, thanks for meeting me. We had a little scare and I'm gonna need some rubbers. A case a week should do. Don't tell God. <sighs> Can't you just buy them at the drugstore? What? You can just walk in and buy them up here? In the old neighborhood, you needed a sit down with Father O'Malley and the doctor's note. I had a connection upstate. One of the first guys to carry the French tickler. Are we finished here, Jimmy? McCool, what gives? Who died? Oh, just my career. A letter intended for my lady friend was mistakenly mailed to Premier O'Shea's office. So slap the mailman around. A fellow civil servant? Never. The problem is the letter contained photos of me. Playfully erotic ones. Oh! oh. When the Premier returns from his trade mission to Las Vegas, I'll be fired or at the very least reassigned to one of Canada's bleaker outposts. 
like Toronto. You ought to text your dirty pictures, like I do. A true gentleman does not text boudoir photographs to a lady. It's a picture of your bing bong. Quit trying to class it up. You're right. There's nothing classy about what I did. But Canada, where all degenerates wind up in Toronto. Poor bastard. You know, if we steal them pitches back for him and save his job, he'll owe us big time. Let's do it. We'll be ass deep in French ticklers. Can you believe she's making me wear an ankle monitor? Be careful what you say with that thing. It has speech recognition. Anything about boys and or sex and you get a shock. Even by mom's standards, it's a bit draconian. My social life is falling apart and you're talking about Star Trek? I'm only allowed to go to school and then straight home. What am I gonna do? Maybe focus on all the great things you can do at school. That's what got me in this mess. No, I mean an after-school club. Club, huh? Photography, full. Drama club, full. Witchcraft for beginners, full. All the good clubs are full. What's future business leaders? I thought it was a recruiting front for the conservative party, but it's just a club where you learn about sales and marketing. Ooh, maybe they'll be cute boys. <laughs> You're late. I told you to come straight home from school. I was doing school stuff. I joined the Future Business Leaders Club. Oh, please, you don't fool me for a second. You're just trying to stay away from here as long as possible. I'll have you know I am full of... What do they call them? Viable Consumer Innovations. You're full of something, all right. Tomorrow, you come straight home from school. None of this phony club crap, you hear me? But, Mom, the one time I'm not lying, and you End of discussion. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna come up with an idea that's gonna knock your socks off. You wanna knock my socks off? Get your virginity back! <laughs> Gotta think of a product. I'll show her. Think. 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 God, thinking's hard. And so is this chair. My butt's killing me. Europa, I think I got it. What's going on in here? I'm taking the lead on the O'Shea heist, Jimmy. So what's with these mooks? It's the team. I call them Cheech's Eleven, minus six. Wait, how many of us are there, not including me? What's wrong with you? We're stealing some mail, not robbing a casino. Why you always gotta stomp on my ideas? Mainly cause they're insane. But I already gave everybody code names in case we get pinched. This here is Mr. Red. You're a freaking racist. Race ain't got nothing to do with it. Now sit down, Geronimo. This is Mr. Brown, cause he smells like a toilet. All right, Dale, I mean Mr. Red. You're gonna shoot an arrow through the window so I can shimmy up. But I'm terrible with a bow and arrow. I thought you said you was an engine. I, mean, I thought this was gonna be a sex orgy. All right, meeting's over. Cheech, you ain't in charge no more. Well, I had a good run. Today's modern woman faces many challenges, but none compare to the very real problem of BAS, bony ass syndrome. Oh, here we go. Ladies and awkward teen boy, I give you... Hang on. Ass jacks! Whoa! I'd love to get one of those for my girlfriend. If I, you know, had a girlfriend. Hey, this is fun! Now I see why guys like me so much. Teresa, it's great you're applying yourself to something besides boys. But this is the stupidest thing i ever seen. Well, Ma, the stupidest thing you've ever seen is setting the Twitterverse on fire. Who the hell goes on the internet to look for big butts? Judging from Ask Jax's followers, flat-bottom girls with low self-esteem who want to jack up their asses. And a lot of dirty old men. Probably not our target market. Those are my Instagram followers, you idiot. <laughs> Look at all the orders rolling in for Ass Jacks. I never thought I'd say this, but Teresa, you're brilliant. I don't want to rain on your parade, but how are you going to fill 510, 12, 50 orders? Ma, you just don't have any vision. Oh, my vision's fine. 
I see a bunch of kids who think they're gonna make a mint off rubber underpants. But mom, pre-sales like this mean startup capital and- Save it for the shareholders, Mr. Google. <laughs> Teresa, as your IT manager, I recommend myself for VP of Sales and Marketing. Hmm. I'd have to see a resume. Resume. But I stand on my experience. Remember those great ideas I had for Pop's business? What? Like the public transit getaway? What do you mean, exact change? Will you just go? I propose we make a web commercial. Keep this synergy going. I have no idea what synergy means, and that impresses me. You're hired. All right, this'll be a cinch. We sweet talk his secretary, get in his office, and grab the envelope. <laughs> Say no more, Jimmy. They don't call me old sugar lips for nothing. Hey, pal, is Premier O'Shea's secretary around? If you mean administrative assistant, that's me. A man's secretary! Aboard! Aboard! <sighs> What's wrong with you? Guys can have lady jobs, it's the 20th century! I got spooked, but this is good. Now that it's a guy, we just rough him up and barge in. In a government building? Are you nuts? We gotta go back to that drawing board. Sounds good. Now I can finish that picture of a duck. Where's my crayons? Our first commercial. I'm so excited. How can you be in a commercial? We're in witness protection. Mom, it's all right. We thought of that. Watch. Hey, girlfriend. Do boys ignore you because you have a small bony ass? Then you need Ass Jacks. With Ass Jacks, you get so many guys, you'll have to beat them off with a stick. In fact, you'll be beating guys off all over town. You can wear ass jacks in the club. Shake that thing. Up on charges, wear ass jacks to court. Ass dismissed. You can even wear them to church. Bless me, Father, for I have booty. Don't be a jackass. Go to assjacks.com and order your ass jacks now. Now what are you gonna do? You actually gotta make the damn things. Ma, we're already on it. Wow, how'd you do this? Simple, I had a vision and told Petey to make it happen. At first we considered outsourcing to a Chinese production facility. But then Petey reminded me that they have a terrible Hunan rice recipe. Human rights policy. Whatever, anyway, as a job creator, I wanted to keep the factory here in the state of Regina. But I crunched the numbers and the labor costs would kill us, so we automated. I gotta say, I'm impressed. This is a hell of an operation you got here. Now, if you'll excuse us, we gotta move some latex butts. <laughs> move it or lose it, toots! Hello! I'm the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and uh, Nuclear War. We need to get into the Premier's office. Oh, yes, sir. I'll open it right up. Wait a second. How can you be the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and Nuclear War when he's standing right over there? Hello! I told you we should have used Mr. Brown. I got a slide. Talk to you. <gasps> Straight from the breeder. Oh, oh, what a sweetie! I'm gonna call you Minxie. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Where the hell did all this crap come from, Teresa? Who's paying for this? I am. I've been pre-approved for like a zillion credit cards. This is just like with your boyfriends. Have fun now, pay later. Oh, you're just bitter because you never did anything with your life. Excuse me? Never did anything with my life? I raised three kids. Ooh, three whole kids. Talk to me when you raise an empire, Ma. Security! Gina, get your hands off me. Take it easy. You don't want to slip and fall. Repeatedly. Onto my boat. So you're a goon for your sister now. She signs the checks. I got it! What the hell is that? You're supposed to get an envelope. Ah, oh, crap.
crap. Wrong building. I'll go put it back. Where's my stuff? I returned it all. My handbag collection? Returned. My diamond tennis bracelet? Returned. The meat dress I bought off Lady Gaga? Cooked it for dinner. Really? You just made a $20,000 meat sauce. This isn't fair. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I'm trying to teach you about personal responsibility. The ex-stripper mobster's wife is going to tell me, the CEO of Ask Jax, about responsibility? Do not talk to me like that, young lady. My house, my rules. Well, then, maybe I won't live in your house, you jealous cow. Where are you going? I'm taking my operation overseas. And by overseas, I mean downtown. Go ahead and move out. You're never going to make it. This town's going to eat you alive. And your little dog, too. You're going to come crawling back. You'll see. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> this meat sauce tastes like sweat. Ma? How'd you find me? Ah, oh, right. This is the living room, and this is a room for the Siamese. Your cats have their own room? What cats? The one on the right doesn't actually work here. Popo? Tea. Special blend. What's with the munchkin? That's Popo, my Burmese manservant. He does what you do, only more and better. Teresa, I'm trying to mend fences here. I'm in a condo. There is no fence. What's in there? The Ask Jack's nerve center. Eat it, Koji-san. We're the ones with leverage. Don't make me Fukushima your face. Mom, we're busy in here. <sighs> oh, this tea's tasty. It's a blend of jasmine, oolong, and great white shark semen. Teresa, I know you're mad at me, but I miss you. I want you to come home. I'll even take off the ankle cuff. Does this mean no more breathing down my neck and getting on my back about boys? We'll work it out. I'll try not to get on your case so much, but there's got to be some give and take. Oh, it is kind of lonely here at the top. I'll think about it. Hold on, I got to take this. It's my attorney's. Oh, oh God, I hope she comes to her senses. <laughs> Minxie? Minxie, wake up! Yo, Minxo, up and at him, come on! Oh, great, you killed the freaking dog! Now Teresa will never come home! Hmm. Nah. Sorry, Minxie, nothing personal. Right, you are a jealous cow! But to take it out on poor Minxie? <gasps> you know, my lawyers told me to get legally emaciated. I wasn't gonna do it, but now I am! You're thin enough, young lady! No, wait! Emancipated! It means I'm being freed from ya, like the slaves were in the 60s. You're divorcing me? That's it! Petey, Gina, let's go! Hey, hey, they're still on the clock! Get in the car, now! This is kidnapping! They're my kids. I'll nap them all I want! Ha <laughs> ha! Who got the leverage now, Petey san <laughs> Here, let me get the rope. How do you do that? Do what? I got it! I can't wait to see them pictures. <laughs> you can't wait to see naked pictures of McCool? What? I like photography. Now we're talking. It ain't a real heist unless you're spilling blood. Crap, it's O'Shea. Oh, me darling. Let me show you the end of me rainbow. Uh -huh. You think they're doing it? Petey. Are you wearing Ask 
Jax right now? No. Good. Then it's safe to sit down. Check the link I sent you. <laughs> the ass jacks are fine. Until you try to sit down. <laughs> o. M. G. <laughs> There's so many lawsuits, I stopped counting. It's over, Teresa. What about my money? If I were you, I'd put on a ball cap and sunglasses and get the hell out of that building quick. Oh, Popo. At least I'll always have you. Actually, my name is Edward and my paycheck bounced. So I ate your dog. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, me darling. Back to Vegas with you. Uh, good morning, Premier O'Shea. Uh, a few days ago, I inadvertently sent you some personal mail. I've come to apologize and beg your forgiveness. Grab it off the desk, boy -o. I'm hitting the showers. Can't run the government covered in body glitter, smelling like a Reno cat house. Stomp and Tom Connors! What are you two doing in here? We was saving your job. You owe us one. Boy, listening to a guy hump all night sure makes you hungry. Wanna get some sausage? Why are you wet? It's not even raining. You were right, Ma. I'm crawling back, broke, homeless, and unemployed. Go ahead, say I told you so. I think you learned a bigger lesson than I ever could have taught you. I sure did. I learned if I'm gonna take a pregnancy test, I should do it at the mall bathroom. That's what you got from this? Nothing about being responsible or thinking before you do stuff. Uh, nope. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm just glad you're back. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's good to be home. How you doing? If you're like me, you could use some time off. In the old life, it was never easy for me to take a vacation. Booking on points is so freaking complicated. Plus, I had to leave Cheech in charge. <sighs> Son of a... Cheech, you better be on fire or dead. And if so, how are you calling? Jimmy, I'm locked out of the club. What are you bothering me for? Call Fats and get the other key. I can't. He's locked inside. <laughs> what do you mean, you and Fats are both locked in? I was on the roof. There's a skylight. The rest is a blur. But uh, it's not our club. What? Someone's here. I gotta go. Turned out to be the Spamonte family's club. Cheech didn't want to pay for the skylight he broke, so he just up and shot everybody. Around the neighborhood, they still call it the Jimmy's Trip to Aruba Massacre. I always called it the Fats is a big fucking crybaby bloodbath. God rest his soul. Now that I'm in witness protection, it's like a permanent vacation. At a two-star resort where everybody says sorry all the time. We've only had one vacation from this apologetic iceberg of a country. And was it worth it? Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they help if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. What is it, a mouse? Nah, it's one of Teresa's boyfriends trying to sneak out. <clears throat> no sleepovers, kid. That's it? You're letting him go? Take him out back and explain the rules to his face. Ah, cook, who gives a crap? I'm free. I've been in there since... Ah, my eyes! Ah! Look at him, McCool. He's depressed. Snap out of it! You got nothing to be depressed about, you useless sack of garbage! 
Pop, if you decide to slit your wrists, have some courtesy and do it in the bathtub. You need a gun, slugger. Take my calls. I'm not wiping your brains off mine. Nah, Jimmy will go out like a wise guy. Suck in an oxygen tank in prison. Sweet Mitsu's cowboy! Jimmy's under the moon and you're all making morbid jokes. Clearly, Canada's character-building midwinter gloom is affecting all of you. But I have a solution. Please say therapy. Please say therapy. A vacation! Aw, oh, come on! <gasps> you hear that, Jimmy? We're going on vacation! Yeah, right. Knowing McCool, it'll be a day trip to Lake Who Gives a Shit. Fuck Canada! Where everyone needs to get the hell out once in a while! <laughs> Don't move, you capitalist pigs! I'm taking this plane to Cuba! <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Welcome to Cuban Airlines. I'm your pilot, Brad. That's just a little thing we do to lighten the mood around here. Enjoy the flight. McCool, you said vacation, not being babysat by a Fed in a communist hellhole. But Cuba's perfect. There's literally no chance you'll be spotted by the mob. Then why are you coming with us? I need a vacation from all things Canuck, or I'm gonna lose my freaking mind! No, of course. I, I just thought we could, you know... Hang. The whole point of this was to stop me from hanging. Myself. Oh, no, no problem, Jimmy. I, I won't get in your hair. For the next week, old Street McCool's gonna be all about rest, rejuvenation, and relaxation. How can you relax in a country that treats people so bad? Every country has its share of human rights violations. Except Canada, of course. Yeah, no, you guys are awesome. I ain't seen a Cuban since that thing we did not do in Dallas. Excuse me, I gotta kill Kennedy. I mean, take a leak. I can't wait to take in the music, culture, and revolutionary atmosphere of Cuba. The people's paradise. Shut up, Trotsky. Kid, get the waitress to open the door. Bienvenido a Cuba. Liberated from American business interests and mafia-controlled casinos since 1959. Tommy sons of bitches. You know, I ran one of them casinos down here back in the day. I banged so many Cuban broads. They gave me a nickname, Don Juan de Gonorrhea. How old were you? I don't know, 20... no, 10. Look around, Jimmy. Cuba's a paradise. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough! You're not leaving my side for the next week! Canadian boy. He's French Canadian. You'll have your panties off faster than you can say. I think the word you're looking for is wow. Huh? <laughs> Give me those back. I should mention, and I know this from experience, do not drink the tap water here lest you get a porcelain shattering case of Batista's revenge. Huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wanna go for a dip in a pool? Nah, too many German tourists. Hoo-hoo, it's the Bay of Pigs. <laughs> <sighs> Jimmy, lighten up. Cuba ain't so bad. It ain't so good either. Hey, where's Gina? I'm supposed to watch her in case she drowns. Somebody. She's probably over at the kids' club. <laughs> ah, to be a child again. Petey unless I buy a timeshare. Petey's gonna have to ride it out. Escorpion Azul. Escorpion Azul. Ma, I think he's trying to tell us something. Cuba is home to the legendary blue scorpion, reputed to cure everything from cancer to diarrhea. But Petey, we can't go into a dangerous jungle just because you got fizzy gravy. Mom's right. I'll be at the pool. How does he do that? On second thought, we're going. Why should Petey suffer? This vacation sucks. So long as you don't. Gina, what are you doing in here? I thought you'd be out selling black market Bibles. You know, there's a swim up bar. You don't even gotta get up to go to the John. What's this? It's nothing. 
It's a porno machine, Jimmy. Don't you know anything? Give me that! Mind your business. <clears throat> Greetings, fellow Americans. I represent the five families of organized crime who do not exist. We've joined forces with the government to encourage patriotic sociopaths like you to eliminate the communist leader of Cuba. If successful, you'll be granted super maid status and be untouchable by the mob. You'll also get a lifetime presidential pardon from the feds. Ain't that right, Jack? Ooh. Act fast, and we'll throw in a free lobotomy for your yappy missus. Mm -hmm. How did you know about this? How did you not? It's been around since the 60s. So you are gonna kill Castro? Look who just clued in. Are these guys gonna f or what? So once we take out El Presidente, we can go back to New York. No way. I'm doing this alone. When you and Cheech get involved, things always go straight into the crapper. She's got a point, Jimmy. Sometimes you're a real screw-up. Whoa! <laughs> You can't do this alone. You'll wind up in Cuban jail with all the poets and playwrights. It'll be so boring! I'll cut the act, Pop. If we're gonna get our whole life back by killing a guy, let's do it together like a family. Fine. But I'm not taking a backseat on my own caper, capiche? <laughs> you were saying? One day I'll be taller, but you'll always be a fat ass! Let's go! <laughs> What am I doing here? We're supposed to be on vacation, not out in the sticks hunting down an insect. Keep looking. Extremely rare blue scorpions can't be that hard to find. I see one! Where? On your arm! Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Are you kidding me? We had one! And you went and killed it! Oh. Petey, we're not camping here. Get out of the sleeping bag! All right, we only get one shot at this. How do you know he's in there? Cause while you girls were packing your bikinis, I was planning this caper to the letter. Every day after brunch, he comes to that window to feed his pigeon, Lee Harvey Birdswalt. And when he does... I'm gonna turn his head into a mist. Jimmy, that's beautiful. I thought it up on the ride over. Wasn't sure if I'd use it. Well, I for one am glad you did. Give me that! Orphan Castro was my idea. I'm doing the honors. Why wait? I'll go in there right now and blow his head off. I'm the boss. I'll do it. But I am the boss's uncle. Shut up, you mooks. You want the whole country to know what we're doing? She's right. Keep it down. Hey, look, it's McCool. <sighs> Yo, McCool! Jeez, what are you doing? Hide the gun! See what I mean? Right into the crapper! Fancy seeing you three! Come to take in the sights, sounds, and smells of old Havana? Yeah, yeah, sights and smells. We're doing sounds tomorrow. Why are you walking around all alone? Oh, no. <gasps> Not now, Cheech! Why? I'm just saying, he looks all lonely and pathetic. Like a loser. I'm not lonely! Matter of fact, I'm going to visit my Cuban friend, Ronaldo Garcia. Well then, you better get going. Hey, I knew a Garcia once. He drove an ice cream truck. Here in Havana? No, no, in New York. Oh. You think they're related? Oh my god, Cheech! <laughs> get, give me that! I doubt it. Ronaldo is an orphan. Well, he's probably dying to see you then. Hang on, hang on. It wasn't Garcia. It was Gonzalez. For the love of food! So, probably not related. Cool. Okay, well, off to the, um, orphanage. Cheerio! Damn it! Put this in your mouth. What? What did I do? Oh, Esmeralda, your hands are so soft. Mm. He's tripping balls, Ma. When are you gonna give up? When he's dead? You wish? Keep looking. 
Come on, Petey. Let's go back to the resort. <laughs> Fine. Take your chances with Mom. Teresa, you can't leave me here. Why? Because you're scared I might actually have fun on this vacation? No. Because I'm lost. <laughs> Get out of here! That is not how my son is losing his virginity. <laughs> Our one chance, and you blew it! It's McCool's fault. The guy wouldn't shut up about his stupid friend. You did it to me again. Without you dopes, I'd be toasting Castro's headless cadaver with a Cuba Libre. You know that's just rum and coke. <sighs> Presidential palace, por favor. And that, mi amigos, is how the Cuba Libre differs from a mere rum and coke. Ah. That is cool. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. Y you do? Don't think I didn't notice. You drove around a little bit. I... uh... <laughs> it's okay, comrade. But you do that with the tourists, yes? Not with El Jefe. Okay? Okay. Hasta luego! That is one charming motherfucker. What a presence, this guy. I got goosebumps. No wonder he's so hard to kill. <gasps> ah, God damn it! It's like I just wanted him to like me. I know. I couldn't make a move. You almost forget that man's a bloodthirsty dictator. You think he liked me? Punch it! It's the only road I recognized. Did you have to stop for a fare? Gina, this resort ain't cheap. Jimmy! McCool, you been drinking? Oh, yeah, me and Ronaldo Garcia, when we get together, hi, <laughs> Chihuahua! I miss Horse. <laughs> I'm in here! Horse? No, it's El Jefe! I'm in the trunk! Oh, God, Jimmy, you didn't! Technically, it was Gina. And the rat comes out! From Heller's dinosaurs! What have you done? Okay, this is fixable. We'll drop him back at the palace and pay the cab! Congratulations, Jimmy. You've liberated Cuba and ruined my life! I trusted you. See, that was your first mistake. <gasps> we can still get through this. Let me do the talking. No, thanks a lot, guys. Come on. Move it. Keep going, keep going. Going. Get them. They took El Jefe. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, I'm... Halt! You are trespassing on American soil. Do not move or we shoot. American soil? Yeah! <laughs> American soil. Oh, that's better. I cannot believe you assassinated a president to get away from Canada. I thought we were friends. What's friendship got to do with it? Apparently nothing. All right, let's get one thing straight. I'm not offering you weirdos asylum, got it? But we killed Castro. We killed Castro too. Killed him good. Shut up. If I had a dime for every nut job who hopped that fence claiming to have killed Castro, I'd have a mountain of dimes and I'd sit on that mountain and declare myself the king of dimes. 
That sounds amazing. My point is, we're handing you right back to the Cuban authorities. Excuse me, Colonel Korn. I think you'd better see this. Multiple sources confirm Castro has been kidnapped by a red-headed midget posing as a little girl. <laughs> yes, Mr. President, it's confirmed. Yes, sir. I'll do that. Oh, I am so fucking fired. <gasps> what? I can swear. Mother, I couldn't find one stinking bug. It's an arachnid, and you're a great mother. A great mother wouldn't let this happen. But you can't watch your kids every move, right? Well, I should have thought before I drank from that. I just want to keep Teresa from making the same mistakes I did. Oh, we're on Teresa now? You don't got to worry about me, Ma. How did you find us? And what's he doing here? You won't believe this. Jean-Philippe here likes to catch these and stick them up his ass. Keeps down the hemorrhoids. Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Ma, what the hell? Sorry. Those things creep the shit out of me. You got another one up there, JP? If you would have trusted me, we could have had fun instead of running around the jungle like Boob Raider. It's Tomb Raider. Shut up, Edie. Oh. Teresa, you're right. Uh, you didn't do anything with Jan Philip here, did you? Not at all. I'm not the one he likes. Anybody else feel a breeze? Holy crap, are you good? <laughs> Ah, Jesus. <laughs> what? No goodbye? All this time, I've gone above and beyond to protect you, and now you lie to me and walk away like it was nothing? What, are we married? You lied to me, too. I did no such thing. Really? What about Ronaldo Garcia? You saw through that? <sighs> I made him up. I felt silly being out all alone while you three were having fun committing a murder. Don't take it so hard, McCool. Of all the cops I've ever known, you're my favorite. That's not saying much. Coming from me, that's saying a lot. Put it there, pal. Hey, where's Air Force One going? Well, Castro was found with third-degree burns by three Canadian tourists who revived him with the venom of a blue scorpion. Can you believe that sh This family is a freaking curse. So, no medals? No getting super made? No. Well, what about the free lobotomy? I'll give you a lobotomy. Come here! Yo, Kurt, seeing as we came pretty close to half an hour, Tommy Dante, you think we could get a chopper ride back to the resort? Get the hell off my base. <laughs> Gorgeous weather in Cuba, huh? Damn shame the American people can't go there. Maybe I ought to do something about that. Can you believe this? Ma and them flew home first class courtesy of El Presidente. And we're rowing a fucking truck. I stand by my choice to sell our passport to those Arabs in Gitmo. I don't even know why we bothered with a vacation. I'm just as depressed as I was before. But Jimmy, you lied to a policeman, stole a taxi cab, and almost whacked someone. What more could you want? You know, you're right. And I made 28 bucks driving that cab. Which you'll have to declare at customs. And you wonder why we didn't want to hang out with you. Keep rowing, Jimmy. Keep rowing. Remember me? Back in the old life, I was a mob wife. When mob wives had to, we rolled up our sleeveless blouses and helped out with the family business. Like when Jimmy's crew got pinched after a museum job, because Cheech left a DNA sample all over Nefertiti's bust. 
All right, Gloria's collecting protection money, Mia's intimidating a witness, and Frenchie's cutting heroin with Parmesan cheese. Best smack in the city. So, what do we do? Chick flicks? This ain't girls' night out, ya lazy bum. Then Gloria hauls in Stinky LaRue, a notorious rat Jimmy wanted gone. But there was a problem. Ah, oh, I can't do it. I can't get blood all over this pantsuit. Don't look at me. I just had these nails done. I ate washing no skull fragments out of my new roots. I was almost gonna let that scumbag go, but I had an idea. All right, f nuts. Before we do this, you're gonna sit here with us and watch a movie. Ooh, the vanilla lace tea cozy. 90 minutes of awkward English people stammering about their feelings. Who wants popcorn? I don't know, Cook. Even for the mob, death by chick flick is a little cruel and unusual. But no one in the family ever read it again. Yeah, right. And we're in Regina on freaking holidays. If you think Canada's gonna make me any less cruel and unusual, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. about this one. I already got to tell your brother to tuck in his shirt. I ain't telling you to tuck in your privates. My clothes express my individuality. Stop trying to census me. How about this? It says material girl with a hint of like a virgin. What the hell are you talking about? You know, Madonna. Lady Gaga's grandma? If we weren't in public, I'd smack you right in your stupid mouth. Teen troubles, Cookie? Oh, hey, Annabelle. You know how it is with teenagers. Can't live with them, can't drown them in the river. Well, we can't all be super parents. How do they fit, darling? Like I'm wearing miracles, Mother! What's with Billy Elliot over there? That's my son, Donnie. He's testing a pair of dance pants for this year's Regina's Got Talent competition. Regina's Got Talent? It's a performing arts contest. No, I'm asking. Regina's Got Talent? Yes. And my Donnie's won three years in a row. Right, Superstar? Ain't you two a pair? More like a team. It's amazing what happens when you don't threaten your children with abuse. Hey! Me and Teresa are a team, too. Well, Twinkie, your teammate just abandoned you. Teresa, get back here right now, or so help me, I'll hug you so hard. Why do you want me to sign up for a talent show, Ma? I thought about what you said in the store. You were right about expressing your individuality, and this is a great way to do it. So it's a wet t-shirt contest? You got a beautiful singing voice, Teresa, and I want you to share it with the world. <sighs> My nose is crying. I'm not used to you saying nice things about me. Well, get used to it, teammate, because you deserve it. Take it easy, Ma. Who knows what's in that blood? Jimmy, what are you doing here? Regina Tourism sponsors this event, so I gotta sit here and sign up all the wannabes and losers. Well, Teresa's signing up. Did I say losers? I meant shining stars of tomorrow. Donna! You guys are the best! You're talented too, Gina, but this contest ain't for you. Pop, I got no intention of entering Regina's Got Assholes. Well, that's good, because you can't. What do you mean, can't? Age limit's 10 and over. You're too young, so you can't. 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 Let it can't. go, Gina. Can't. There's some things can't. you can't do. Can't. Can't. But this ain't one of them. Can't. 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 Shut up! Now, McCool, just because my daughter's in this, I don't want you showing any favoritism. Unless you're open to that. In which case, I can make it worth your while. Do you know why I've been asked to judge this contest three years in a row, Jimmy? Because no one else will do it? And my integrity. I am unbribable. I'm always the bribe's maid, never the bribe. <laughs> <laughs>
Toby for Jimmy. Toby for Jimmy. Hey, Toby, what's up? Toby for Jimmy. Come in, Jimmy. <sighs> Go for Jimmy. Oh, there you are. Aren't these headsets amazing? Anyway, I have terrible news. Turns out Dick Clark is dead. We need a new MC. Did someone say MC? Have you ever MC'd before, Uncle Cheech? I certainly have, young lady. If any of you's got any allergies, whip out your EpiPens, cause here comes Peanut Butter Cookies! Sorry I'm late. I had to finish the word parts for my first number. Number? It's like the one I sang at Uncle Luigi's thing, remember? He's shaking his ass just sharp as a knife. It's non-stop booty, just don't tell his wife. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it at Club Afterlife. Yeah. Yeah! Wait till they hear my new song, Labia of Love. Teresa, honey, the judges want to hear classics. Then I'll sing one of my classy ballads, like Angel with the Fake Tits. You cried when I sang it at Christina's communion. We all did, honey. But if you want to make it past the first round, you gotta keep things wholesome. Okay, I'll try. But let's not go overboard. Of course not! Now tape down your boobs and put on this nun's outfit. Now to help us forget the human pretzel practically licking his own balls, here's our next act, g Dog and Enviro Pete. Now remember, I'm not your sister, I'm a doll. You sure are. Thanks for encouraging me to do this. My unique brand of edutainment is just what the people need. Shut the f up. We're on. Hey, G Doll. Do you know why the ecosystem is in so much trouble? Because the owners of big factories are a bunch of dummies. Just like me. <sighs> Talk about an ecosystem. <laughs> Remember, everyone, think globally, act jokily. The ventriloquism's quite impressive, but the material's atrocious. Bring back the ball liquor! <laughs> it's only 60 pounds. Cause you'll have a great old time. Stay neutral, old chap. Stay neutral. Looks like Teresa might make it through to the next round. And it looks like you might be crapping your pants. Well, get ready to eat it. Next up, we got a three-time winner, a one-man dance armada. And a true patriot. Let's give a warm vagina welcome to Donny Westminster. Amazing! Makes that nun's routine look like a bowl of piss. That nun was Teresa. Oh, sorry. This kid makes Teresa look like a bowl of piss. You want us to fix the talent contest? Not the whole contest, just that freaking Donnie. He's unbeatable. Then I guess we'll have to beat some beatable into him. Anyone asks, I've been here all day. You have been here all day. Exactly. Cook, I'm not hurting a kid over a contest. Unless there's a cash prize. How much are we talking? It's a trophy and bragging rights. What am I, an amateur? And trust me, no one in that show is going to do any bragging. Especially that boring nun. She's next on my list, Cook. That's Teresa! You want to end this contest or not? Okay, forget it. I guess I'll just have to be a better mother and put way more pressure on Teresa. Everywhere that matters. To go. Stay on the high note. The high note. I don't believe the lamb's following, Mary. Convince me. Visualize your goals. Reactualify your happytude. You're just making those words up. Don't talk back to your life, Coach Muffin Top. 
This is un, excuse my language, frickin' acceptable, mother. Why didn't you hire me a life coach? Uh, I never... Never wanted me to win? Obviously. Ugh, I'm getting flushed. Fan. Donnie, you have nothing to worry about. Too dry. Spritz. Oh, are you trying to drown me? Donnie, calm down. Teresa's good, but you're better. I guess I'm gonna have to handle this because you're more useless than a donated appendix. Oh, Donnie. Fly like a dove. It's a lady of love. Hey, we agreed. No original songs. But I'm almost done writing it. I just need something that rhymes with reach around. Do you want to win this thing or not? Original songs, eh? <gasps> that gives me an idea. Go get the car, Annabelle. In <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. God help you if I get to ten. We barely squeaked into this round, Gina, so we really have to nail it. Don't forget, be the message. Sure thing, Petey. Folks, if you need to use the crapper, now's a good time. Because it'll smell better than this next act. I hate this guy. Oh. By the way, I changed our name. Oh, it's nice you're getting involved. Please welcome Little G. That's fun. And Dick Bart. Gina. Uh, ahem, <clears throat> okay. Hey, Little G, tell us what you know about fracking. That's when you dig a hole in the backyard and fart in it. <laughs> then this fracking loser shoves his head in and sniffs. <laughs> right to the kisser. Ha, 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 jokes aside, um, do you know the size of your carbon footprint, Little G? Two inches, just like your dick. <laughs> Gina, cut it out. Yes, um, carbon emissions should be on everyone's minds. Along with the polar ice caps. Yes, thank you. Do you know why the ice caps are melting? Because you jerk off in the shower? <laughs> Dick Bart's getting served! So, why did you ask me out, Donnie? I like you, Teresa. You're a good kid, and I want to give you some advice about the biz nasty. I got it directly from Al Pacino, as uh, acting coach's website. Wow, you are connected. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've slept my way around the entertainment block, sweetheart. Had my fair share of mouthies, VTs. VTs? Oh, vagina touches. <laughs> so naive. Donnie, have you ever actually been with a girl? Are you kidding? <laughs> Any more tangy poon for me and my G-spot's just gonna fall right off. What part of this is the advice? This part. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you need to do something original. You mean like an original song? <gasps> yes! Oh! But who has those, right? I, I do. I write my own songs. You do? And you're not singing them? Um, are you trying to lose? But I promised Ma I'd wait until I won. Waiting's for tables, baby. Speaking of which, who do I got a blow jam to get another shake around here? <laughs> Petey, we always laugh at you, but who knew you had real comedy chops? When that creepy troll doll accused you of clear-cutting the cheese... Oh, my ribs, Petey! My ribs! Gina, you should have seen this kid. He's a natural. Yeah, but his material's a little highbrow for Gina here. Now, let's not forget about the environmental message. I'm an edutainer, first and foremost. The reviewer says you've redefined the fart of self-deprecating humor with refreshing brilliance. Um, I heard the dummy's pretty hilarious, too. Yeah, but without Petey, there's no act. It's just a hideous little puppet. Ooh, creepiest thing I ever seen. What's the G stand for, anyway? Grotesque? I thought it was just, God help me. No, it stands for guys. Look what just fell out of my ass. <laughs> 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 Now that we eliminated all the riffraff, it's time to hit the snooze button for the opposite of entertainment, Teresa McDougall. It's super drama, Fraggle Rock spaghetti is delicious. Ah, forget that crap. Regina, make some noise. Clap your hands, come on. Ah, ah, yeah. This is a Teresa McDougall original Christmas jam. I don't know what's 
matter how hard you tried or how badly she's failing. So get your butts to the bonfire. This is a race. He's gonna bust some Christmas cheer all over your face. Snip my foreskin and color me Jewish because Christmas is dead to me. Relax, Ma. I made it through to the next round, didn't I? Only by the skinny of teeth, thanks to that humpy dog act getting disqualified. <laughs> Toby, for security! Toby, for security! Where are you, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell told you to do your own song? Donnie, he told me to be original. Teresa Falcone, you got played. My song got played. And once I find a rhyme for Reach Around, I'ma be dropping another sound bomb, yo. Now the only way we'll beat Annabelle is if Donnie gets kneecapped. So that's why you made me enter this, to beat Donnie's mom? Who's playing who, Ma? I wasn't playing you. I was encouraging you. By making me dress like a nun and sing about baseball? You were a nun trying to keep orphans off drugs by getting them into sports. It's called a backstory, Teresa. You know what? You're in this for you, not for me. Teresa, wait! Ah, balls! You're welcome, Mother. Once again, I solved the problem. Now, can you handle getting me a smoothie, or is that too much for you, you dried up old cow? Oh, and I'm gonna need a new phone, because this one's broken! I freaking hate other people's kids. Kickball change and a funky hips. Eye on the prize, eye on the prize. No, 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 no. Who's a bad boy? That's me. Who's a bad boy? That's me. How do girls pee? Who knows? Do the running man. Go, Donnie! Go, Donnie! It's about time. You best have my smoothie. Hey, who, who are you? No. No! No! Are you ready, little G? What do I know? I'm just a dummy. Dick Bob! Say, little G, I bet you have something funny to say about me and the terrible effects of nanopollution. Little G? <laughs> Do you have a frog in your throat? <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, frogs in mountainous areas are most affected by climate change. What do you think about that, little G? Make the troll talk! Come on, say something! Yeah, make the gargoyle emasculate you! <laughs> I'm a gargoyle? This from a guy with a baboon's ass for a face! <laughs> Does old McDonald know you left the farm, you fucking donkey? <laughs> hey, McCool! A shot says, pardon me? Pardon me? Oh, oh, I see what you did. Hey, everyone, the gremlin called me a shot. <laughs> Stop the show. Look who I found out by the dumpster. Uh, Donnie, I've been knee banged. Calm down, everyone. I'm a police officer. I'll get to the bottom of this. Donnie, tell us who banged you. I was out back waiting forever for my mother to bring me my smoothie when someone ran up and hit me right in my knee. My dancing knee! Did you recognize the assailant? He was wearing a mask. You mean she was wearing a mask? How could you, Ma? Yeah, how could you? I had dibs. Me? I had nothing to do with this admittedly fortunate turn of events. Oh, right. So when you said the only way I'd win is if Donnie got kneecapped, you were being psychic. Oh, my God, Ma, are you psychic? She's a witch! Is someone going to call an ambulance? Cookie, I'm afraid I'm going to have to inquire as to your wear a... <laughs> Shart. So good. <clears throat> anyway, where were you when this happened? I was nowhere near Donnie. I was backstage working on Teresa's song. I even found the rhyme you were looking for. Just reach around and make a happy sound, huh? Why did you finish my song for me? Donnie may have been playing you, but he was right. You gotta be yourself. Stop Ooh. upstaging me! It's my time to shine! Mine! None of this would have happened were it not for the incompetent shrew who birthed me. Donnie, don't. Shut your kale hole. If you'd have been there on time with my smoothie, you could have taken the hit for me. But you didn't. Why? Because you're a selfish, greedy, evil... Ah! Ah! Fine! It was me! And I would have got away with it!
with it if I didn't just hit him again in front of everyone. Damn it! <coughs> Kneecapping your own kid? That shit is cold. I'll tell you what's cold. Diva Donnie making me walk beside the car on the way home from his singing lessons in the dead of winter because I was taking up too much oxygen. Oh, I could go on! He's a monster! Mother, how could you? Oh, shut up, you fucking drama queen. You know, we may not have the best relationship, but at least we're not these clowns. I love you. I love you too, Bob. Ah, now you got my nose crying. Not so fast, madam. A real crime has been committed. I have no choice but to arrest... Oh, the results are in. This year's winner of Regina's Got Talent is... Dick Fart and Little G! What? Who's Little Dick and G Fart? <laughs> you said I was too young to enter, but I did, and I won! Take that, you mother... Porky's revenge! It's alive! Run! Run for your lives! <laughs> but Canada, where even the most heroic must sometimes flee in terror! Oh, so everyone gets a shot but Cheech? It's my oh. turn, kid. 